Yeah. 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 Or even when it's cold outside. Sometimes even when it's, it's exactly perfect outside. <laughs> yeah. You always, yeah. you always want to shower you always feel as good about often it. as possible. Yeah. yeah. That's why I like to, that's why I like to shower. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching another happy hour live. This is a special one today, Chris. You know why? Because it's Father's Day. That's right. So in the immortal words of Samuel L. Jackson, thank a motherfucker. So, uh, yeah. When is, uh, are you sure I'm the Father's Day? I, I think so that's. I think that's next week, every, right? Every weekday when that guy who, the Maury daytime, Povich. Maury Povich. Yes, it's, thank you. It's just like the Pro Bowl. They, they do that one right after the Super Bowl. Yeah. 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 So, thank, um, oh no, it's, it's, thank God I'm not the father's day. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to go into that because some people are really happy to be dads. Absolutely. And I'm sure yes. that some, for some people it's not as fun, but yeah. yeah, but I think that a lot of people, everyone, how about this? Everyone that you and I and, and Mrs. Toast know mm -hmm. are happy to be fathers. So yeah. Yes. So anyway, not everybody. I saw a thing. Why do you have that, to, why do you have to do that? Why can't you just shine that one on? You have to like, go into this thing that like, well, actually, Matt, I did know this one guy. No, come on. Come on. Yes. You were saying that it wasn't uh father's day. Isn't, I thought it was like a forties or fifties thing. And it sort of got started in the, in the fifties, I think, but it wasn't a real thing up until finally in 72. Okay. Um, they decided that, that it would be a, it could be a real holiday i watched something about that yeah that like it was really popular with guys in jail mother's day was and they thought yeah. let's do father's day <laughs> it tanked because yeah all yeah, those well and, and yeah and a bunch of uh a bunch of men didn't like the idea of father's day because they related it to mother's day and they felt that it was too mm. too feminine oh okay yeah uh, i don't i i'm not sure what the history is yeah it was or the uh, etymology of the it's uh not yeah. all that old because it's always been a thing you know yeah, home, where, where I came came from. That's right. Sure. That's right. So anyway, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And if you haven't called your dad yet, uh, do so, provided you still can. So um, anyway, uh, wow, him to, Chris. Ask him to take a shower. And if you know someone's dad who stinks, ask him to take a shower. I don't know what that means, but yeah. yeah. Well, you're the one who said it. Yeah. My father relayed to me today that he used to be a guy that that showered oh. and shaved every single day. Yeah, and now he only does those things a couple three times a week. Well, and yeah, maybe he doesn't. I, you know, I don't. I don't. Yeah, know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever. So maybe he uh, doesn't move around as much. Maybe. What a whirlwind of of stuff that happened this this last week. Yes, Chris. Correct. What um uh what for those of you who did not see the reveal on Friday. We had uh, our very first, we had a couple of firsts. Uh, we had uh, our first build a classic Fender class, uh -huh. which was, was really neat. We had a great group of guys. And I, you know, I, I don't know that um, if you alter the dynamic of the people that we had too much, uh -huh. might not have been as successful for the first one. But um, but yeah, was, maybe. But, but great group of guys mm -hmm. and uh, super cool idea. And it was the first class where we had five people. Mm -hmm. And it's looking like every class from now on will have five people. Yep. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the guys and his dad signed up for who was at the. Uh, so, OK, so one of the guys who was here last week mm -hmm. and his dad mm -hmm. signed up to come to the December Build a classic Fender class. Yeah, and he decided he was thinking about doing it um, before. And as as we got more and more into the class, he was like, "Man, I'm really trying to figure out how to do this." Yeah, and he was talking to his wife, and he's like, "I got paid today, and I can do it." Yeah, and we're like, "Oh, that's really cool." He had that much fun that he was ready to sign up for another one. That's true. He was talking about that as early as Tuesday or Wednesday. Correct. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then and then yesterday. He apparently talked to his dad and was relaying how much fun he had at the mm -hmm. class that his dad decided to do it, which is super cool. I, I know? think so too. I mean that he had that much because I don't think his dad's necessarily a fan of the of the the shop. Maybe he, I, he is. Maybe, he didn't I, say yeah, that he know. was, but I think his dad's a, a fan of having fun. Yeah, and making <laughs> yeah. something cool. <laughs> so <laughs> let me ask you: You like having fun? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, but I thought that was really awesome that he not only did he have so much fun that he wanted to do yeah. it again, he talked his dad into doing it with him. So consequently, that's be really fun. 
Ryan and his dad um, have both signed up for December, which mm -hmm. means there's only one spot left for the December class. There's only yeah. one spot left for the October class. And what is the October class? October class is build a classic set neck. Okay. So, you know, uh, wood comprehensive. Uh, yeah. Wood comprehensive mahogany yep. back, mm -hmm. maple top, mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard. So if stuff you want to like get that. all of the woodworking stuff in that we do, yeah. that's the class to take. That's, that's definitely the one. If you yeah. want to leave here with a, a guitar, a playing guitar, then the December class would be then the, the one. Yeah, the that's there's take. only one. So we've got one spot in December, one spot in October, and two or three spots in September, which is also build a classic set neck. That was so popular, we had to add another one right back to back. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so we're doing two back to back, two, two. We're doing so September. Not, we're doing build a classic yeah, set neck, and October weeks, we're doing build a two, two months. Okay, yeah, and that right. just sort of worked out that way because um, we had that's the only month we had available was was September that we could kind of yeah. And I've got some stuff going on in September. I think you do too. So it was the well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's um, cool. It's gonna be it's gonna be a whirlwind uh, fall for sure. So if you guys would like to come out in either. September, October, or December, there are at least one spot available right as of right now for all mm -hmm. those classes. So what did you think of the build build a classic fender or build a fender class? I in I, relation to build a strat class or build a telly class. It was funny there uh, build a telly is still really popular mm -hmm. because tellies are, you know, burgers and fries or mm -hmm. t-shirts and jeans. They're always gonna be cool. Yep. Um, I'm not saying that strats aren't always gonna be cool, but there's something about tellies that are always going to be classic and neat. And, and why is that, that, that like, you know, why, why did the Telecaster never get eclipsed by the Stratocaster? I don't know. Uh, Maybe you guys. For us, know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, the, the one thing that I think about that when we do the build a classic Telecaster is the finish that we do just seems to work really well with Telecasters. Yep. It looks really, really cool, and you can do some neat stuff. Yeah. Um, so, and I think people understand the idea that a Telecaster, if you're going to build your first guitar, yeah, it should be a Telecaster, and because it's fairly easy, you know, in you the get, grand you get, scheme you of get things, to yep. learn everything that you need to learn building a Telecaster, but you don't get knocked out. Yeah. By learning yeah. how to build a, a a Telecaster. So, and and I guess I guess what I'm driving at is. We offer build a classic telly classes mm -hmm. and we also offer build a classic fender and two guys at the build a classic fender class built tellies. And they were a little bit, a little bit more in depth, but yeah, definitely more. Yeah, and only more one guy depth. built a strap. So mm -hmm. yeah, he was the first one that signed up. Yeah. I really liked his guitar because it was a hardtail and that was one of the first hardtails that we'd done. Hardtail strats are just cool. And I think, yeah, and I think hardtail strats are cool. And in a lot of ways, I might like them better than the, the whammy bar ones. Yeah. As much of a whammy bar guy as I mm -hmm. am, I kind of think I would get along better with a hardtail strat. Oh, because because you're so uh, uh, because you're so enamored with, or because you love the Jazzmaster trem so much that the other location well, of the I just arm yeah, just gets in the way. Yeah, yeah, I just okay. don't like the strat trem. Yeah, and you know, there's just enough things wrong with it. But like, like I get along with Tellys better than I. I like strap. Okay. So yeah. And what what's the real difference? Well, probably the tram. What did you think of the guitar that we made? I like the guitar that we made. It was uh, it was fun and it was quirky and it was something that I kind of wanted to do for a while. Oh really? Yeah. And but not enough to actually do it in uh, you know the 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 standard way. So I was glad. This is like for me. This is the perfect. Um, like the perfect time guitar. to do it. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. So, this thing turned out cool. Yeah, it did. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. And we changed up some stuff, uh, in show, the, here. Show, the show off. How are you feeling? You feeling any better? I'm slightly better. Yeah. This was one of the hardest weeks of my life, of my whole life. Of my life. Yeah. I'm going to move the, the microphone these, out of these the hurt camera. ribs and not being Why able to sleep and all of that stuff. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, we, so we, we changed. The methods and the the well the the, the products that we're using. Can I can I pause paint. you right there? Yes. I kind of want to keep that as a little bit of a secret. Okay. Anyway, do, but, and do, do you know why I want to keep it a secret? Let's say this: you can now do this. Yeah. 
before we had a hard time doing sunbursts. Now we can do sunbursts. I was kind of hoping that you'd be like, why do you want to keep it a secret? Why do you want to keep it a secret, Matt? Because I've been looking at other guitar building classes mm -hmm. and you can't do anything even remotely like this Correct. in five days uh -huh. anywhere else yeah. that offers a class. Yeah. Yeah. Prove universe. me wrong. In the universe. Maybe, yeah. Well, I don't, okay. <laughs> in the known universe, in, in, in the United States or in overseas, yeah. I have not been able to find mm -hmm. where you can do this kind of, of thing, mm -hmm. where you can do as much of the stuff that we do in five days. I have not been able to find it. This is yeah. like, well, oh, and the other thing is, Someone was like, well, how much is it to do? Because all the parts must be, all the parts are included. Some of those other places, I'm not saying who, you know who you are. They're not, they're not including the parts. Right. So, and, and by the way, we're including premium hardware. We, and you know what? Mm -hmm. Several guys, this class commented on that. They're like, mm -hmm. this is actually really nice stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know why? Because I spec'd it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh. Yeah. Uh, oh, everybody gets to to, to spray some. Everyone and, and gets get, to spray yeah, paint. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and get their. We don't know what the product is. Yeah, <laughs> everybody gets to spray paint. Everybody came with a mask. Yep. And to the guy, none of them had ever shot. Oh, cool. Anything with the spray gun. They all enjoyed it a ton. You know, even if it's only twenty minutes of the class. I still see people doing um, wipe on stain and, mm -hmm. and a couple of notable people, and I'm not talking about Brad Ango, but there are a couple of notable people who do like wipe on stuff. And yeah. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Anyway, it looks like we got a couple of uh, super chats here. Yeah. Um yeah. The 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 finished component of our class is really cool and really fun. And everybody I think it really separates us from some other things, among other things that we do. That yeah. Are, yeah. Obviously better. Yeah. Like Plus you get to cooler, press in frets and looking. you get to, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. So Doug Santaniello says, stop showing my jazz master. Someone might buy it out from under me. What? Oh, the, the, that, that <laughs> guitar. That yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a cool one. Doug. That's the electric six. That's the electric six machine. The, uh, so that, that, <laughs> that guitar was a uh, electric 12 uh -huh, body. body. That, and we, we kind of, we just, we just, just made it a six string, put our own spin on it. Put a I I don't really I'm not going to actively try to sell that guitar. Yeah. Um. Because I want to have some examples of what you can do for finish wise for when people come. Yeah. I think it's not bad to have a couple of things. So yeah. Now we have a couple of things. So finish as we class will we'll probably start we'll, rotating yeah, stuff out. Yeah. 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 Plus I'm going to take that guitar home and play it. Oh. Because I think it'll be a fun guitar to play. Mohogany says. Thanks for spending part of Father's Day with us. Let me buy refreshments for the show. God, thank you so much. That is very, very kind of you. What sir. are we having? Well, uh, we're having uh, we're having the the very festive and very fatherly Coors. Coors, it's yours. Thank you, Mo. I love it when people buy us beer. That's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, and people buy us beer a lot. So thank you they to do. everyone. Yeah, who, we're doing pretty well. Who helps approach. out with that? That's very, very cool of you. Yeah, definitely. Um, we always try to read, you know, we try to read through as many things as we can. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Toast kind of filters through and and yeah, and yeah, and and lets us know uh -huh. some of the stuff that yeah. like if anyone yeah. has a question or anything. But, uh -huh. but so so I'm not gonna try to sell the um the the student guitars from the last two classes mm -hmm. for a little while. Um, yes, ma'am. Oh, Doug says, I guess I'll have Our to come out in December yours. to build one. You there know, you if Doug wanted to come out in December, that would be uh, so. Doug's coming out in November for the build and paint with Mike Learn. Uh -huh. um, it's always great to have uh, Doug and Dave. That you know, the Dangerous Brothers. The, the Dangerous Brothers. Who, I, yeah. I'm not calling yeah. them the Dangerous Brothers because they're unsafe. It's because I like the the way it rolls off my tongue. Doug and Dave, Dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Dangerous Brothers. Yeah. Um, there used to be a show. I thought it was the Dangerous Brothers. No, no. There used to be no. there used to be a show, um, and some of the guys from the Young Ones. It was uh, Rick Mayo and uh, uh, the other guy, and they Neil. No, not Neil. It was the guy who played Vivian. Vivian. Yeah, uh, but I don't know his actual name. Anyway, they had a show called The Dangerous Brothers. Yeah, and it was wildly funny. Okay. Um, and just this kooky, you know, crazy stuff that these guys would do. Yeah. And again, not because Dave and Doug are cuckoo crazy guys. 
they're really fun, but mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, I just think the danger. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. If Doug did that, he would be the first four timer. And that's well, that, he's, that class comes with a robe. That does. That does. But I am oh, the five timers. I, I do want to sell the guitar that's by you, though. Okay. Um, the last of the Premier Reserve single cuts. If this this guitar, uh, guys, I have a question for you out there. Why is this guitar still <laughs> Why available? Why is it still here? I want to know that too, because all throughout this process, yeah. I was like, mm, yeah, okay. Da, da, da. And the day that we finished it up, we put these cream pickups in it uh -huh. and finished it up. And I was like, that is a damn good looking guitar. Yeah. This guitar is not going to be here for very long. I, I don't predict. Think it translate on the camera. Yeah, it could be. Well, I don't, yeah, I think that's part of it. I think just that it's green. And if you're not down with green, but I don't know. And, and I probably shouldn't have even said that. No, I think I think you're right. And I want to know what the audience thinks. It looks, it looks black now, of, doesn't of it? Of green guitars. Uh -huh. Like, name a, a celebrity that plays a green guitar. Uh -huh. I know Steve Vai has one. Um, but, yeah. yeah. The, but, like, the, there are – they're just not – It's just green is just not a very awesome guitar color, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and – I think Bart would say different. Well, yeah, but, but Bart wanted a green guitar. Yeah, so and Bart hasn't Bart ponied up the, the money for this guitar either. Yeah. So I have actually left this at the sale price mm -hmm. uh, on the website. So if you're, I, I, I'm not even going to tell you. I, I may or may not have lowered the price a little bit. Mostly may, but yeah, because I think this is a neat guitar. It's got Lawler pickups and everything. It's just cool. Maybe and it turned out really, really. Maybe good. people would have bought it if it had a cream. Control cavity cover. I Maybe don't know. it's the uh, real nice neck treatment too. That, Again, that threw them. They off. might not see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This has got all all of our yeah. little little fun things that yeah. we do, and and it's it's actually a really nice guitar, and that's not just me saying that. To sell no, it's it's it's, it's nice pretty. Robert guitar. Williams says he loves that guitar. He just doesn't have any green for the green. Doesn't oh, have any green for the green. Green yeah. for the money and gold for the honeys. <laughs> Isn't that uh -huh. what they say? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a it's a it's a cool cool guitar. It is, yeah. Anyway, so uh, you know what? It might be someone's dream guitar. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about dream guitars. Well, I've been thinking a lot about it too. Yeah. What if gold in that green? There's the a way. lot yeah. of there's yeah, a lot of translate on the game. yeah. It just no, doesn't, doesn't make it, it through yeah, the it's, camera. It's actually a really neat color. Yeah. Maybe if we did the live stream outside, <laughs> it would like let's do that. Yeah, people. under it's really under hot. A, a party plaza. Well, it's sort of hot in here, mm. so it's all working out for us. Yeah, except you can't see the guitar. Yeah. So, uh, so you've been thinking about dream guitars, Chris? Mm -hmm. What have you been thinking? Well, I think one of the the things you know, and and we talk about uh, Dan Thompson and, and build a dream guitar. Yeah. And then we see that ad, and we make fun of. You know, yeah. own a dream guitar. Those are two different things. Mm -hmm. And and for a lot of guys, just building something. You know, wouldn't it be cool if I was able to build a guitar? And sure. that's most of the dream. Yeah, I think and, you're right. Um, you know, and, and guys come to this and that's really the dream. It's not even necessary because guys have been like, well, I thought it was I might come and build a telly. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll build this or maybe I'll build that. Or, or you know, so this time this, I'm going to build something that's a little outside the, yeah. the, the normal telly. And then next time on my own, I'll probably go back and build a does, standard does, telly. When Dan does the the dream guitar thing, is he talking about building your own dream guitar? Well, yeah, yeah. Assembling a, a, a kit and I think, I think, I think, I think we like might have, we might have, we might have, uh, Inadvertently, well, I think we might have inadvertently hurt Dan's feelings a yeah, little bit. It wasn't, yeah, we weren't trying. Well, to oh that. no, because because Dylan had a thing, and I, I started going off on dream guitars for four hundred dollars. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. Dan's but I think, thing I think is the, very different than a dream guitar from China for four hundred dollars. That's exactly right. And and uh, yeah, building your own guitar if if you're so inclined, if you think you you if that's something you if think you've you always wanted do, to do it, yeah, yeah, then, yeah, then you should pursue that and do it. And that it's very, very cool to be able to play your own guitar that you built. So, whether it's so let me ask you, let me ask you. Uh-huh. Has it ever been a dream of anyone's to build their own guitar? Yes. Has it ever been a dream of anyone's to buy a four hundred dollar guitar? Probably, but but maybe a youngster. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Um maybe there's you know, cheap guitars are are one thing and they can be fun. Yeah. But, but to tag it with, 
you know. And I'm is, talking about, remember, you know, it's, the last time we did this video, someone was like, well, back in 1974, uh -huh. the 400, well, yeah, I'm talking about in 2021 money. Yeah. I was in kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, there's in there's in not a lot of. 1971 money, we're talking about $59 guitars. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 And and I know you can buy guitars now for fifty nine dollars as well. Uh -huh. but, yeah, people people want to make like but, uh, try yeah. to got you, Matt. I'm gonna yeah, yeah yeah. I think when you were twelve and you wanted a guitar mm -hmm. or ten or however old you were, and you were looking at a catalog and you saw you know say the Sears catalog and they had some some super cheap Tiscos and you could talk yourself into I can, dreaming about a. Uh, I can tell you what when I Tisco was thirteen. Tulip, yeah. A four hundred dollar guitar was probably a dream guitar for me, uh -huh. but you have yeah. to remember that in nineteen eighty three, uh -huh. you could get lots of neat stuff for four hundred bucks on the used. We're not talking. Yeah. We're not yeah. talking about like a you a, a used cool thing that you just so happen to luck into, and it's four hundred. We're talking <laughs> yeah. about like yeah. the the anyway, yeah, or a so green that's... stamp guitar. Nobody, you no, know, yeah. oh, I was lucky enough to get Whoopie this guitar, but, yeah. but almost to the guy, every single person that had that guitar traded up at some point that yeah. was never a dream yeah. item yes ma'am okay so jumping off of robert williams long. says i love that guitar just no green for the green um uh sweet sweet tea says i love that green and it's not even a sweet tea paint that's right it, he it, could mix something oh, up like I'm sure that. he could yeah <laughs> and then um what doug sent you sent you what oh god i Jump down. You had it, and then you lost, I lost it. it. I see how this works. Is it okay, Robert? I'll split it with you. Wow. It is fucking for real, you know? I, I'm okay, not sure you know? what that means, but yeah. So, But I happen to know that Doug walks the walk. Yes, he And does. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then He's, another comment there. I love that green. Oh, wait. Somebody says, like, mom, my mom loves it, and I lost it now. So so, so do you guys don't think that green guitars are 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 uncool thank you chris mm -hmm. you yeah. green, guitars like green cool. guitars or do okay. they or is it not their favorite color but so this one might be richard edwards says my mom loves that green single cut no joke me too but she really loves it your mom's got very yeah refined taste that's right I'm just saying. oftentimes women have better better guy. color mm -hmm. taste than men mm -hmm. well most people that are colorblind are men it's yeah. very rare for a wound to colorblind. Okay. Huh. All right. So well, Doug says, okay, Matt, it seems many love that green guitar. Whoever can pay 750 I'll cover the rest of them. That's unreal. This dude that's real. Dude. I'll take it. <laughs> you guys, this is that's a real, that's a real deal. That's a too. real offer. Yeah. Yeah. Doug's not just he's not just playing porky pie. He walks the walk. He does. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. So this week, uh, one of the students who came to class Thank you. asked me, um, we were talking about dream guitars and stuff mm -hmm. like that and building things and dream mm -hmm. this, that, and the other. And he said, well, a question that for me was actually a very great question. What tool would you have? What's a dream tool for you to have? Do you remember uh -huh. when Loring asked me that? I was in the other room and I caught some of that conversation, but I didn't catch all of it. Well, so yeah, we were talking about like, cause you know, the whole dream guitar things come up mm -hmm. a lot and we talked about it with Dylan. And we talked about dream cars and dream this and dream that. Yeah. 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 And dream wives. Yeah, that's right. And, and Loring asked me if, um, if there was a dream tool mm -hmm. that I that I would like to have in the shop that you don't already have. Well, that was kind of the thing because okay. I, I told him, I'm like, well, Loring, you have to remember that the shop that we're in, that we're standing in right now, uh -huh. we're probably standing up then. Um, <laughs> this is really a dream come true for me. Uh huh. You know, this is something that this is, um, this is a sanctuary for me. Mm -hmm. I really like being here. And I like when other people, you know, come and take classes and learn to build guitars from us. Mm -hmm. um, I like a, a dream. A dream tool for me was the pin router. Mm -hmm. Man, when we got that pin router, it was like everything changed. Everything changed. I didn't even hardly know what a pin router was, to be mm -hmm. honest. I sort of knew, mm -hmm. but I didn't know exactly just how awesome it would be. So what I Should've told known. him was a dream tools for me would be everything we have in the wood shop, uh -huh. but more of times them. two. Yeah. Cause it's really <laughs> neat to have multiples of tools. So you uh -huh. can, 
So you can kind of leave stuff set. You could almost yeah have some of them set up yeah, single use. Yeah. yeah, like for example, the the shaper doesn't get reconfigured. No, it's, it just stays one yeah. thing. Yes, yeah. Carrie. So apparently, rod. Uh huh. Rod H. Rod H. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, Alaska so, rod. So I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So Doug Santimiello, just email Matt and he can invoice the seven fifty. I'll take care of the balance. Dang. And so Rod said, email sent. Thanks, Doug. Sold. Dang. There you go. Well, Doug is not fucking around. No, Doug, man. Doug doesn't play around. Well, very, very excellent. Nice. So you mean to tell me that the guy in Alaska who's getting this guitar? Well, they're actually both going to be here in November. They can they can uh yeah. So yeah, they are there might yeah. need to be some shared there may be a, Doug uh, might want to at least check that out, the, Rod, the, when the the dangerous number three without a D name. Yeah. Doug, Dave, and Rod. The <laughs> dangerous, brothers. dangerous brothers. We're gonna have to hey, maybe he could be a like whole a whole thing on the uh -huh. close side chat, what's that? The, the dangerous brothers? brothers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah, cousin or something like that. I um um very cool, excellent. Um I will I will do so. Hey. So, but so, but but then Loring asked me, well, what tool? If you didn't, if you could have a tool that you would, what's the tool that you would like to have that you wouldn't really buy? Uh huh. And I'm like, I, I had to think about it because because mm -hmm. you know what everybody wants me to say, a great big CNC machine. That's yeah. the last thing. I that'd be neat, but that's yeah. not a dream thing for me. No, right. it's for like student as a, stock. Yeah, and, as a as yeah. a woodworker, the CNC machine is like. That's cool, but it's not really my style. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's glad we have it. We get to do some fun stuff with it. Exactly. But student guitars aren't going to get a Texas toast. No. Uh, no. Yeah. But they do you get to get their own logo. Yeah. Yeah. They get, I think that's a really cool, really neat added on feature that we've done here recently. Also, something that uh, you can't do Correct. anywhere else. Correct. I've seen. I've seen pictures from other schools, and I'm not seeing a lot of headstock logos. Yeah, yes, we had guys bring in their own artwork, and we converted it and put it on their guitar. Yep, and I, I I bitch and whine about it every time. Yeah. Yeah. So SS, the awesome T-shirt designer. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the best thing I've seen ever. Nice job, Doug and Rod. It really is. Very it's, cool. It's very cool. It's a tribe. It's a tribe. Yes, it is. It's a community. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And and half the time, I think they don't even listen to us on these Sunday things. They just come here to hang out with <laughs> I each hope other. Not, We're I say over a bunch in the of corner. Dorky yeah, stuff. yeah, thinking people are listening to us, <laughs> scouting our things, and people are like, you're facilitating, hey, man. You're facilitating we are. a brain trust. Mm -hmm. Yes, right we are. Yeah, yeah. We could just be like the, the, the rock and roll music in the background. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Except we're not. Yeah. You know, um, uh, mine in my head, Miss Thing, that you ruined is uh, it's an instrumental. It's Muzak. It's the Muzak version of Girl from Ipanema. We could be the Muzak in this group. Is that I hear like a Ramones shopping music? I know. I know. Yeah. Ah, boy, don't I know it. So, so Chris, uh, what, what do you think of the, is, is this shop a, this probably isn't a dream for you. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know that I ever had this dream. It doesn't mean that I don't like doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, uh, one of the students asked me this week, he's like, so have you always, um, worked for yourself or, and I said, yeah, pretty much. And that's that's kind of a dream, I guess. You know, yeah, that's I mean, I, I I do think about or I did in the past think about, you know, getting a regular job. And I don't think I would be very good at it at this point. You know, having somebody over me Plus other than the you, man, older you get the crotchety or you. Get. Well, yeah, that's a thing, too. I'm but, talking to uh, you, too. Chris. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, if if the dream was to uh, essentially work for myself, which I sort of do here as well. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, you don't have to really answer to anybody except for the, you know, customer guys and students. Well, and stuff, yeah. But, and that's, you know. but, but I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, required to do a weenus report once a week. No. Head of the weenus. <laughs> no, no. Weekend number uses. To no, we're not, uh -huh. we're not doing that. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever. I mean, I can still, it, it, I can still pretty much come and go as I please. Mm -hmm. 
even though mm-hmm. we, we set things up and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, times that we're here and that, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and I really like building guitars. It's fun. Yeah. I like, I like working here. I like doing this. So. What, what would, what tools would you have in this, sh- in your dream shop? That we don't have now? Yeah. Well, I, it, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil your your fun, but we always talk about one one tool in particular, which is uh, the the slack the belt slack sander, belt sander, which yeah. just seems like yeah. You know, now that I think about it, I I love the idea of the slack belt sander. What if we had a eight, ten, twelve, twenty inch joiner? Yeah, that would be rad. Because uh-huh. then you could take great big bodies oh, and just make uh-huh. them flat on one side that would be really really cool 20 inch jointer or yeah. what you know whatever the, the biggest the widest jointer is you can that would be cool i mean we have the we have the planer the yeah the, eight inch jointer would it. be would be awesome uh-huh uh because yeah, then, then you, you could, could do body do, blanks before yeah you glue them up yeah yeah uh-huh. yeah um, maybe that maybe that's a tool like maybe, maybe we could maybe upgrade yeah. the jointer uh-huh. one day to yeah. be you know Although ours seems to work pretty darn good. And, it does. You know, I don't think there's anything that's necessarily slowing us down no. at this point. We talk no. about the slack belt sander, and I think that whole thing is just because it's such a crazy tool. It's amusing it's to say we so have a slack well, belt sander. And, and yeah. you know, the way that, that you use it and the things that you use it for mm-hmm. are just, in, in, in some ways, <laughs> it's a hack tool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's. I, I watch those videos of the guys at Heritage. Uh-huh. using it and it's a hack tool it's <laughs> it's designed to butter over things that would normally take a little extra time to to butter slightly over. longer yeah slightly longer and and the <laughs> the uh the propensity to just make everything just yeah. round and sort of i'm sure you could do just, neat stuff you, with it you could but, do neat yeah. stuff with it and you can ruin stuff with it probably pretty fast yeah and uh yeah i saw a video from uh, a factory in um china and they were dream guitar factory dream guitar factory in china and they were using the cnc to cut out bodies Mm -hmm. and then they were using the slack belt to sand them which is hilarious to me yeah Yeah. because yeah there's this there's all this precision and then there's just (laughs) 50 grit hogging out of (laughs) of the backs and tops of guitars and they were doing it with the neck and they had all these they had all these jigs it was actually really really neat yeah. to see how they were doing it but but it was just like really they used the cnc for just the the, the most minor of of mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. and then everything else was by hand with a slack belt sander i like i think people look in our shop and go wow there's there's your table saw is kind of mm, is unimpressive our table saw. Yeah, you yeah. know the one that we fold up and stick uh-huh. in the corner. Because we don't. We don't. It. We rarely, if ever, use a table saw. We don't yeah. really do not, anything with sheet good. We're not building caps. I, I would love to have a really nice table saw one day, but yeah. I, we don't uh-huh. need it here for what we yeah. do. We yeah. Don't need it, the one so. tool that I am uh, keenly aware of not being quite up to snuff, as cool as the tool is. Yeah. Is the drill press. Yeah, that's true. The drill press no is showing its age. That, well, just the the manual mm-hmm. raising and lowering of the table. Now Especially that's one of those tools. Hurt ribs. That's one of those tools where, like, if we got another drill press, I wouldn't want to get rid of that one. Oh, no. I would want to keep it and just have it set up to do like, uh-huh. yeah, what whatever the whatever yeah. it is. But yeah. uh, I think mean, that yeah. would be neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My drill press at home. And I know I keep saying maybe I'll bring it in. Mm-hmm. Um, has a crank on it, and that's the that's one definitely nicer cool. thing yeah. about my drill press at home. Okay, but uh, yeah, that's other than that. You know, we have in a lot of ways, I think everything that we need, and yeah. and more on a lot of that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I would and I would love to have belt. another pin router. I'd love to have a slack belt sander, though. I don't know. I know what I would do with another pin router. I have no idea what I would do with a slack belt sander. Um, yeah, <laughs> it would be cool. It would be cool to have two jet pin routers mm-hmm. if for no other reason than all the controls work the work same. The same. The yeah. Grizzly is backwards on a couple of mm-hmm. steps and it throws people off. It throws me off because I don't get to use. You don't use it very often every day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I have to sit there and think about it. Uh huh. I would even take another Grizzly pin router. I, I, I think they're cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that, that, uh, 
because then we can move all the students to the Grizzlies and then yeah, and save my beloved pin router. Yeah. Up your beloved <laughs> pin router. This is the beloved pin router. This is not for you. You know where where beloved pin router came from? Uh, I, yes. I what where? Uh, there was something about a beloved. Uh, beloved marine corps i was i was channeling arlie ermy yeah. when i came up with that i didn't have See, to channel arlie ermy too much this week but but i was i was giving some guys the business on monday and Tuesday. you said you yeah. put on the board that chris is the fun one yep. Matt is the drill sergeant yep. and i kept reminding people of that and they didn't believe me yep. even on friday they're like yep. what Oh I yeah. Thought, am I really that much of a taskmaster? I'm supposed to be the fun one. You're the you're the fun the classes are really fun, but you have to you you have to stay on task and that's what we're it's here to facilitate. Yeah, yeah, it's still a lot of work. They uh now except for July, the July class where you and I just get to be the fun guys. Mhm. Mm yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, I'll so watch you while you do it. Do you know how to use that tool? Well, have a good time. Tough rocks. I know it is the July class is it's not really a class so much as it's just you and I hanging out with guys making stuff. It's a we workshop. This is a maker space. We, yeah, we don't have any idea what the guys are going to do in some cases. Yeah, in really. Cases we know, we, we, know Rod, we know what Rod's going to do. Mm -hmm. We know what uh, uh, we, we actually know. Knows yeah, but but a couple other do. guys have told oh, us what you they haven't were, told me. So I, yeah, I forwarded you the emails. No, I thought those were all things that guys were doing in the yeah, maybe a couple of them. There's so many, so many emails, Matt. Mm -hmm. So many. And I emails. only send you a, a tiny fraction. Of I know. Them. Yeah. 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 I do recall that. Some days though, I'm like, I'll worry about these when it's closer to that time. I can't worry about okay. that email. I hear. Today. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I'll worry about it. Yeah. When they get there or, or I look at it and I read it and I go, yeah, that's cool. All right. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. I, I think that, that all these different classes and I'm, I'm working on the, the schedule for 2022, um, all the different classes and some of the, the good stuff that we're doing and, and going to try to do more of, it really helps us to stay away from something that I definitely have no interest in doing right now. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of guys are going towards. Mm -hmm. And that's having import versions of their boutique stuff mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. I nobody asked me, but I think it's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. What what's your first blush on stuff like that? Yeah, I think blush like in uh, nitrocellulite. Yes, nitrocellulite. Cellulite. I have yeah. some nitrocellulite on my, <laughs> hey. on my legs. I'm not real happy about. Um, it's called cell damage. I don't have any of that. Um. Uh, uh, we're talking I, about I think, import, yeah, import guitars, guitars version. I, yeah. I, I, you, you talk a lot about having something that you can be proud of. And I, yeah, I, I don't think ultimately it's, it's a way for that person to sell more guitars. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they'll sell more guitars. I don't know that they'll make more money. Um, I don't like the idea of losing control. Oh, that's something like I never that. even really thought about. Um, yeah, you're losing right. control of designs, losing control of ideas, mm -hmm. um, having leaving that stuff up to somebody else. Yeah, I can see where that would go horribly wrong, mm -hmm. pretty fast. Um, I don't, also don't see the reason to have a ton of inventory at any given time. You know, for as much as people like our guitars. Um, yeah. you know, if you want one, then one will pop up and you can buy it. Um, yeah, it's, I, I think, I think the, the import thing is, is fraught with peril, especially on something like a guitar. It's not like you're importing copper mugs cause you want to be the, the Moscow mule mug king of the U S yeah, Moscow mule king of this, of the, of Chicago, of Chicago. Oh, so there are, there are probably examples of both people making the import version that have done well with it and mm -hmm. people who are making the import version and have kind of, I don't want to say done poorly with it, but mm -hmm. it has, it has damaged the brand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one I guess, that I can think of immediately uh -huh. is, is, okay. is Floyd Rose and the import <laughs> stuff mm -hmm. that, that yeah. Floyd has, has absolutely cheapened 
that brand. Mm -hmm. And everyone thinks, oh yeah, these, these, these suck. These suck and you can get them for 60 bucks. Because, yeah, because, because the ones <laughs> because on the, the import ones BC Rich guitar that uh -huh. they got, yeah, which also cheapened the brand, was not good. And the metals galled and, and it just wasn't the same thing. It uh -huh. was just those little differences. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah, yeah, there, there was a time when, when Bernie Rico was making, the finest guitars you could get in the seventies. Uh -huh. There was, there was, a that was like, that was it. That was the pan ultimate thing. And then they started like, you know, these, these kind of cheapo, I don't know what, you know, crap tastic guitars with that mm -hmm. broken stuff. And they were, but they were iridescent yellow and they looked cool. And then you look, you could be like CC DeVille mm -hmm. and they had cheapo uh, knockoff or licensed Floyd's. And it really did ruin, I think it ruined the brand. What, what I'm sure BC Rich is doing some stuff now, but but I don't think anyone looks at BC Rich and goes, yep, these are the 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 boot the the definition of boutique instrument. I don't think any new guitar players are looking at a BC Rich going, oh yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where I want to yeah. be. I think any any credibility that they have at this point is probably based on an older older crowd that remembers mm -hmm. the, the old good stuff. I was really, I was really bummed out when remember that one year at the NAMM show, Hamer had some like Korean or Indonesian mm -hmm. made things and they were, they looked okay, mm -hmm. but they, and they, they kind of fizzled yeah. and I don't know what yeah. they're still about. Well, and, and I, can, can that move be okay for some companies and not okay for other companies? Clearly it is. I don't think yeah. that anyone is going to say that uh, Fender musical instrument is in any danger mm -hmm. of, you know, the brand going under because of Squire. Or, yeah. I, I can actually envision a day, not anytime soon, where Fender has virtually no American made stuff. Yeah. I think you're probably right. Um, and, and yeah. And I don't think that will hurt them. That may actually help them. Maybe because you put yeah. all of that into some, you put all of that pain in the ass stuff of running a big company like that in mm -hmm. somebody else's hands. And mm -hmm. all you do is import export and they're big enough that they can have somebody in those factories to oversee okay. what's going on. I've seen this in another industry. So, so what about, uh, what about, so what, about, let's talk about the other two, the two big names. Uh, what about Gibson? Phil McKnight was actually talking about um, his, uh, uh, his, what, what he thought the, Changing mm -hmm. the headstock on the Epiphones would uh -huh. do to the brand, the Gibson brand. What do you think about that? What did he say he thought it would do? That it would make people like the Epiphones more? Uh, well, to be honest with you, I know that he was going to talk about okay. it and that he talked about it. Okay. I don't know what he said. We're saving that for another day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need to call Phil McKnight. I actually yeah. said I, I, got a, I got a text from him. I sent him a text. Right. He sent me a text. And I need to call him probably the, tomorrow or Tuesday. The funny thing with Gibson is they've always felt the need. And, and to their credit, they've never uh, had Gibsons that were made outside of the U.S. But they've attempted to build cheap guitars for a really, really long time. Mm -hmm. And it always seems like they've fallen on their face doing that. And they need to figure out, do we want to be top tier level one stuff? Yep. And, and only that? No, no, you know pretend cheap stuff because they're really not that cheap even even when they're yeah. cheaper they're not cheap uh or do we want to be you know uh, uh the company for the the masses i i've always said that that owning a gibson used to mean something and yeah. it doesn't really mean that same thing now i think it means more than some other brands though i mean you don't have to you don't have to say uh yeah i have a gibson it's an american one yeah. Oh, I have a Fender. It's an American. Ooh, I think I think it's you. A, it's an American professional. I think you ought to. You know who you do have to do that for? Paul Reed Smith. Yeah. Uh huh. Paul yeah, Reed Smith. They do that you with, with be, them. Yeah. Because uh -huh. it's the Paul Reed Smith SE. It's not uh -huh. the SE guitar. Right. That looks kind of yeah. like a, it, yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh huh. People all people often say, you know, I have a Paul Reed. Or, here's how the conversations sometimes go. I have a Paul Reed Smith. Oh, one of the American made ones because no, and the SEs are good. Uh -huh. They're, I mean, it's, it's, it's remarkable how good they are, uh -huh. but everybody, but what, what people seem to, I remember, I remember because 
back when I was a kid, owning a Gibson didn't mean what it meant in the 50s. You know what I mean? It's yeah. more 59. Yeah, well, yeah. But the the but owning a Paul Reed Smith back in the mid to late 80s, that actually meant something then. And it doesn't mean the same thing now. Yes, were you going to say something? Yeah, Brad Butler says, "Hey, Brad, uh, on the buyer's end of the fence, the people who get upset the most about import guitars are the people who shop based on brand name, i.e., PRS." Mm, yeah, yeah. The there's there's some of that brand myopia is. Um, well, that's a good word. Thank you. You paid five dollars to learn. I, I did. Yeah. Um, the. You you it you you can lose some of your core customers, and I'm using the word core because I think that's what Paul Reed Smith is calling their uh, kind of uh, legacy line of, of stuff. They're the core okay. instruments, the All United right. States yeah. made yeah. stuff. So you can lose some of those core customers. You might gain some some new some new people, but I think yeah. what the, you the danger that you run into, and what do I know? But one of the dangers, one of the pitfalls could be that when you start a company like Paul Reed Smith, that you basically say, no one's doing this good enough. I'm going to, mm -hmm. I'm going to fill that. I'm going to fill the void of, mm -hmm. of doing it to the best quality I can. It's not for everybody. Right. And as soon as you go, well, now I'm going to build the best guitar I can for this price. That's you lose the, some of that's yeah. the thing is is yeah you, as soon as you go overseas then it becomes more of a price thing and you feel like you have to compete with everybody else that uh, that that builds there too and you go to the Nam show mm -hmm. and you walk around and um, you can you can almost see because there's only so many guitar factories anywhere in yeah. the U.S. Korea any place. And you look at the guitar and you see the price and almost to the, to the brand, I can tell you where that guitar is made based on the price. And you start seeing sure. little, little similarities between all these guitars. And, you know, right now Korea is the new Japan as far as having stuff made. And know, I don't think that really you're saving quality. a hell of a lot of money by going to Korea. I think that the Paul Reed Smith yeah. SEs are no longer made in Korea, are they? No, they're made in Indonesia. Okay. Right? And I'm sure um, they're fine. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the yeah. other thing. People always maybe, go, you know what? Those are pretty good for yeah. what you get. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that it's the same goodness right. as yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because because the Korean stuff just got too expensive. Yeah. You can yeah, yeah. you weren't saving hardly anything over the base yeah. American made stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as soon as you as soon as you go outside of of the US and and you're making more than you know, a few guitars a month or a year or whatever, mm -hmm. then you have to start trying to, I, I, I don't know why people feel like you have to, especially with guitars because they're so unique, but, but trying to compete on price. And you'll yeah, soon, that you'll you know, never win those. You, you, you told you, me you that once. Yeah. You're you racing, never... you're racing to the bottom and, yeah. and, and your product all of a sudden is more homogenized with everybody else's yeah. product. And even though it's, it's your original design and it, you know, it's, 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 it's this and that. And people go, well, you know, PRS owns the factory. Um, the, you know, the back, guitars back when there was Korean, they, he was like, like, well, they didn't own the factory. So well, yeah, maybe yeah. they do own the factory in Indonesia, but, uh, but you know, those guitars look an awful lot like a whole lot of other guitars. Yeah. In, so, in construction so, and, and that. So, so let's talk about this. So if you make a Fender or a Gibson or a Paul mm -hmm. Reed Smith or whatever, but what about small guys? Okay. Like us. I mean, you're, uh -huh. you know, very admittedly. Yeah, people, we, people come in and, and say that all the time. Yeah. You know, pretty soon you'll have uh, Asian-made Texas Toast guitars. Yeah. And I'm like, never, no, never. I don't. Well, for one, I don't know that. Well, certainly you're not right now. The demand is not there no. for that product. Um, whether we wanted it to be or, or whether we wanted to sell a bunch of, let's just say, $1,000 guitars, mm -hmm. $900 guitars. Mm -hmm. Actually, we sort of do that. Um, we sort of did that. Yeah, we don't yeah. anymore. But no, yeah. but yes. but um, the demand the demand for our stuff just isn't there, which is fine. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I and I don't think, and I think this is one of the mistakes that that some of these guys make is that okay, I make this guitar, it's twenty five hundred dollars, it's three thousand mm -hmm. dollars. If I import it from wherever, it's going to be twelve hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. I'll bet I sell more of them. I'll bet they don't. 
in the end, you I'll bet an, they don't sell enough of them yeah. to make a big difference. You have an elite clientele. That yeah, yeah. if you yeah. if you, and I think part of the, what they like about that is that not everybody has one. Yep. There's that exclusivity yep. of owning a Texas Toast guitar. Well, it's and like, as soon as we had them made someplace else. Sure, that would be that you know, that's horrible one the, business. That's one of the neat for things. Us. Yeah, yeah. And and every guitar that we sell, Matt does a bunch. I do a bunch mm -hmm. on it. And as soon as that's gone, then... The soul is gone. Why don't we get yeah. like some young, young, handsome guys to do the podcast for us, too? That would be a great idea. There you go. We'll you outsource the podcast. Would be, that would yeah. be the best thing ever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you we get a couple of handsome guys to Korea. Yeah. yeah that like Indonesia. But they're, the they're but they're Matt and Chris. But they're the younger, more handsome versions, and they don't wear shirts or so. I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's not gonna be hard to find these people. No. No. Yeah. Who's more handsome than you guys? Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah I I and every um, every podcast starts with that. <laughs> <laughs> we got Polly D in here, up in here. Yes, yeah. Polly D yeah, has a and everyone has a super ends chat. with that too. No, okay. that's fantastic. SS. I can only handle Texas Toast guitars coming out of a country that knows how to make good steak. Ah, <laughs> yeah. You know any other country? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing against the vegans, but you got to bring your own shit. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I. The so the, the the funny thing is. That when when these these smaller boutique companies want to go overseas, I'm with you, man. I'm not 100 percent sure that that's going to yield the result that they. I'm well, I'm not sure what what is the result. Is it to like make your guitars more accessible? And 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 yeah, I think that's, that's I think that that's not as neat as as making your guitars more exclusive. Mm -hmm. There's something cool about that. You know, I think so too. Um, if 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 all of a sudden Rolex was as cool as, or as if Timex was as cool as Rolex, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. What know. about the Casio? Like, anyway. yeah, I don't even know if Casio's a thing anymore. Maybe. Well, Doug know. Santiano, I second that. Said SS. I'm looking forward to having a steak with the Dangerous Brothers again. The Dangerous and, uh, Brothers and Rod. Yep. And yep. <laughs> And uh, SS said, yeah, young and handsome guys are hosting the show. <laughs> well, one is. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> what was so, that? so stupid. Um, He's doing poly tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. I, as, I, I think as cool as it would be to, to have somebody else make your guitar bring a bunch of your guitars in it it ultimately i mean it it that's a vanity project yeah i'm not i'm not really sure that that's that cool well no what i mean is the, just the process of doing it okay but but ultimately you'd be like oh yeah, yeah. okay so like like what's the upfront cost to do that i yeah i have I no think, idea i, have no I idea. think it, i think i think there are more and more uh people that yeah. are doing it and more and more people that know the ins and outs and you need to know that stuff uh -huh. and if you know a guy that knows a guy then, oh. then you can make that happen um you know it just occurred to me what someone knowing a guy someone who might know a guy and that might be i know a lot yeah. of guys but that doesn't mean they're gonna do anything no me. this is this is something that i have an idea about someone who's doing this yeah and and, and i think that they might be affiliated with mm -hmm. a guy Okay. Imagine, you know, oh, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That, that may happen. But, yeah. but I think you have to have a lot of, a lot of demand for that. We know another guy that, that has a fairly small, uh, guitar company that, that has done that. And I have no idea how it's worked out for him. Um, yeah. maybe it's worked out really well. Maybe, maybe it's everything he's ever wanted. And then some, and then some, but for us, I think what, what uh, you and I have attempted to cultivate here is, um, you're you're buying a piece of the you're buying a piece of this shop. Mm -hmm. You know you're in the club. You're buying a piece of me. Yeah, I mean and Matt. Everybody can anybody can go out and and buy a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. But and I've I've often said this and guys, if you're in motorcycle clubs, don't take this the wrong way. We as as boutique guitar builders, we share up to one percent of the guitar buying public's dollar. Okay. Uh, so that means that uh -huh. everybody of the hundred people who buy electric guitars, one of them is apt to 
up to one of them is apt to buy a boutique Not guitar two. from any number of people like Chris and myself. Mm -hmm. And we share that hunk of that pie. So what you and I make are 1% guitars. Right. You know what I mean? So we are, we really are the bad boys of the electric guitar world. Uh huh. Um, and again, if you're in, if you're, if you're a motorcycle guy, don't take this the wrong way. If you have a, if you have a Texas toast guitar, you're, it's a lot like being in an exclusive 1% club, you know, where you, you have to earn that. It's not something that you just buy and it's not something that's homogenized and it's like going to the, going to Disneyland that to me, buying a Fender is kind of like a, it, it's, it's almost like Disney owns Fender. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you and I are outlaws. Yeah. When it really comes right down to it, we're outlaws. Mm -hmm. And if you get a Texas toast guitar, you have to earn that and you're an outlaw too. So well, I feel that way about all the big companies. I don't think anybody's putting out, you know, where every guitar is, is slightly different. Mm -hmm. I don't think Gibson does that. They got a guy that, you know, made his living making jeans exactly the same. Yep. That's true. Um, so Bobby Dill sent yeah. us 20 bucks. Cause I think he's an outlaw too. He didn't yep. say anything. So nope, yeah, he didn't say anything. So, yeah, um, cool. Thanks. We have a model called the prostitute for gosh sakes. Yeah. We need to get a, 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 a model called John. No, we don't. No, no, that's not, that's no, that's, it's that, that, that the, once the prostitutes that, that that's just, that's just what it is. There's no, there's no like complimentary model. I, there's no, there's no Ken to that Barbie. Anyway. Ken to that smooth, whatever. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with, yeah. with that guitar, <laughs> the, but yeah. The, the pimp. <laughs> no, no. Again, the it's pimp hat? what 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 makes it cool is that I not know, every single it. thing is like it's, some yeah. you know sex worker deal. Yeah, not, it's, not it's just all a the models funny are, name. are yeah. sex worker names. It's one funny name. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and everybody does that to me. You need to have a guitar that. Yeah, you know what? If you're so smart, you need to start your own guitar company. That's what you need to do. You bring some so. in from Indonesia. Yeah, and then you can bring whatever you want in yeah. from wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. But yep. yeah, the, the, the whole point of, of what we do is because we're a little bit, a little bit dangerous now. I mean, at 50 years old, we're not exactly dangerous, but the thing about it is, is that do you remember, remember in the eighties when you go to the arcade and it was dark mm -hmm. and you felt like you were getting away with something Yeah, it was way more fun than when you went to like, they had video games at the Chuck ice e. cream Cheese. parlor yeah. and yeah, uh -huh. it's like whoop de doo Yeah. yeah you know, you don't feel like you're. It's not seedy. Uh -huh. There's no visceral experience if associated no with that. Floors, it sucks. Well, see, that's what I'm talking about, and that's that's the kind of thing that we are, in some ways, selling. We're selling an attitude. Uh -huh. We're selling a lifestyle, which is, you know, I mean, and, and a lot of these things are, in fact, lifestyle brands. Uh -huh. And Harley Davidson worked really hard to make a, a lifestyle brand. Now they might not be a lifestyle brand anymore. Fender worked really hard, really hard to be a lifestyle brand. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they've, done a, they've done a great job doing that. Mm -hmm. However, you sometimes kind of lose that when, you, when your grandma buys you a Squire for, uh -huh. for Christmas one year. You know what I mean? Your grandma can't buy you a Texas Toast guitar for Christmas. That just, that's just not the way it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because you, you, you have this look like, no, I'm, what I'm, the I'm, hell are I'm, you talking no, about? No, I know man? exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's it's the exclus exclusivity mm -hmm. of of owning something that <laughs> not only does not everybody else own, but a lot of people don't even know about. They don't even it's get like your it. favorite yeah. indie band. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, as soon as we as soon as we sell out and uh, make a popular record, or as soon as we sell out and we import some guitars, we piss off a lot then, of the, then yeah. half of our core. Yep, is is gone. And oh, I really like those guys. You know, um, yeah. Before they sold out, I really like. I really about, liked that restaurant before everybody found out about it. Yeah, before yeah. everybody found before it, it got best of, mm -hmm. and now you can't get in there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we used to joke about how that will happen someday with us with the Gray Street guitars. Yeah, uh, the guitars that were built in the old old shop. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, how how funny would that be? That. Uh, the, the new stuff that we build here, which is arguably, <laughs> I, it, it's not arguably, it, it is, it's, it's, you know, more consistently good. Yeah. And, uh, um, 
you know, but but that someday that will be a thing. Well, this is for one from uh, yeah, you know, from the old shop before they really you know sort of sold out. Yeah, started teaching all those classes. Yeah, we sold out. We bought in. Well, yeah. you know, and that's the thing. So let's get let's come full circle again. One of the reasons that Chris and I are offering so many classes and being so and so interested in all the classes is so that we don't have to sell out the 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 brand yeah. to do you know what i mean we don't have to like have somebody else make stuff for us is there another yeah. super chat that we yeah, missed there is yeah it's up above from who devin yeah no yeah. there's one from doc oh doc sorry bobby dill okay so yeah doc says my dad was a one percenter so i grew up around them they're very interesting people to say that like yeah now i chris and i are probably not as um uh as hardcore as one percent bikers Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So don't get me wrong. What I'm trying to say is that it's something that you have to earn. You can't just buy your way in to, to the lifestyle of owning a Texas toast guitar. Um, it's something that you have to, you have to want it. And if you, the, the fact of the matter is if you want a Gibson, if you want a Fender, you want a Paul Reed Smith, Hey man, guitar center is open at 10. They'll yeah. take your money and, and there you go. Boom. Here, okay. Yeah. Boom. You're, you're, you're in that club. If you want a Texas toast guitar, you have to, you have to wait, you have to put in the time. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, there was lots of talk this week about things that we should do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the idea that what we want to do is make a whole lot more guitars. Yeah. The fact you is know, we like, want to make like a double, whole lot less. Guitars. Well, yeah. Double our production. Well, how mm -hmm. are you going to do that? Cause if you're not growing, you're dying. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chris and I walk a different path of, uh, business model wise and and it's not popular but but i think that it's it's, it's outside the norm yeah. of what most people do and yeah. so yeah yes so uh bobby dill says nothing blows minds like when i open the case of my texas toast challenger excellent yeah and that then, guitar rocks and then doug cook says you offer that class because you also like to share your knowledge and help others learn unlike many other boutique builders well that's true we we have we have the wherewithal to do that well the, you know the, I mean? the funny thing is and i think we both sort of adhere to this idea that that it's it, it's not magic it's it's old technology we can do it you can do it you yep. know we're people you're people yep let's let's do this it's not People do this. Yeah, and they've done You're it for a, a really long time. Yeah. Since, and since the loot. Yeah. yeah. And you know, so so let's let's do it and let's have some fun. Yep. Yep. The um so so anyway, that, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Yeah. Guys, today we are happy to be sponsored by Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. If you're in the Denver area, please go check out the those guys. Give Ike a big kiss. They're getting ready. Uh, the new building is, uh, they're getting it ready. I've talked with their contractor. Coming along. Um, lots of cool stuff going on. So um, if you're not in the Denver area, though, the Flipside Music website is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the next time that you need a new pedal, a new amp, or maybe if you even need a new Texas Toast guitar, think Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. I also would like to thank our friend Todd at Sweet Tea Guitars, who sends us Super cool paint. We've got another paint shipment coming from Todd. Good. Um, like, lots, like and lots and lots of cool when, stuff, when stuff shows up. from uh, from Texas or from, from Texas from Sweet Tea Guitars. Uh, if you are in the market for super cool paint, check out Sweet Tea Guitars. Uh, I'd also like to thank John and Cheryl at Bitterroot Guitars. Um, by the way, we are going to start doing some videos for John and Cheryl from Bitterroot Guitars. Help us grow our brand and their brand too. Uh, they're going to be a lot of truss rod installation videos. It's a compilation. I think initially. I'd also like to thank Dan and Calvin at Guitar Wood Experts. Everybody who was at the class this week used woods from Guitar Wood Experts. They were impressed. So, and they, it is awesome, awesome stuff. Don't believe me? Here is one of the things that we built using swamp ash and uh, rosewood and maple from guitar wood experts. So um, yeah, if you guys need lumber for your guitar builds, think guitar wood experts. So um, I think we're done here, Chris. What do you think? So too, yep. All right, guys, we've got more videos coming soon this week. I've been editing one today and maybe it will even go out tomorrow. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. We'll see you guys later on. Thanks for watching.